Hello good people from the YouTube, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen and everything in between. Welcome and today we're going to talk, I'm going to talk about uh, my favorite John Frusciante guitar riff from a song that is not in the Blood Sugar Sex Magic album. Uh, it is on the Coneheads uh, soundtrack. If you don't remember this movie, it's about aliens that have a big cone head. Um, from 1993. The movie was out in July 1993 and this song was part of the soundtrack. It was not used on the album uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, weirdly enough, and I never understood because this song is just so good why it's not in the album. And even John Frusciante himself doesn't know why it's not in the album. He uh, talked about it in his uh, podcast with Rick Rubin. He doesn't get it. He thought that maybe they were, you know, thought that Under the Bridge was already too much of a ballad, so they didn't want to put another song like that. And they just removed from the album. That song is so good. Luckily, thankfully, they put out in this um, soundtrack of this movie. It also came out as a single, even though it is more like a B-side. I would say it's the best B-side Red Hot ever did, because there's a lot of B-sides in Red Hot uh, catalog that are really good. But this is definitely a song that should be in an album. It should have been in the album. And anyway, and became like this B-side slash single that was put out uh, for this. After this movie, the single was put out in August 1993. The movie came out in July. And and it's the best riff. Uh, and, and it's not Under the Bridge, because Under the Bridge, you know, is like a big champion riff of all uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers fans. But this riff, it's, I don't know, there's something about it, it's more bluesy, or I don't know, there's something about it that I love. And the chorus effect on it is very Frusciante like that era of 1991. <laughs> This guitar line is so, so good. Like, he comes from an F and then he goes to C. That reminds you of something? <laughs> John Frusciante, you know, is in his DNA of harmonies and stuff. minor and it's the same thing anyway um, and Flea does this amazing bass line that I love which is Flea being subtle because Flea in those days was still like really aggressive and stuff so it's for him to go back you know back off a little bit and do the, the subtle parts like anyway I, I don't remember exactly the, the whole bass line but that's I used to play this all the time on bass but I just thought about giving you a little tease here and uh, yeah it's it's an amazing song it's amazing it's a cool learning riff in the beginning my favorite riff um, and it's not under the bridge it's this one it's more bluesy I don't know it's just simpler and I don't know I think if you don't know how to play under the bridge yet go for this song this song is so cool harmony is really good it's good to understand the whole like you know you can run all over the, the neck and uh, with different shapes of chords, you can do different inversions, you can play in different places, you know, you know anyway, but yeah, that's it for today, very short video, uh, don't forget to subscribe and 
uh, you can see my album. I have a if if you want uh, to go to Spotify or any other platform, I have my album there. It's a M Files, a Beam of Light is my record. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll try to put this short videos about Red Hot Chili Pepper songs for whoever likes a little musical uh, insight on them, guitarist, guitaristic insight on it. Okay. Cheers. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And bye.